are some of my favorite things. First of all, I have this little trio of Fard Cream from MAC Pro, and these are three colors that I use on almost any complexion. They are a warm, red-violet, semi-neutral colored cream. Great on the cheeks and can be used on the lips as well. Some artists use them on the eyes. It's up to you. I think this color can be really pretty on the eyes. And I'll show you how I use them here in a bit. The next thing in uh, my favorite things is my Painter One brush, number 31. This is something I recently added to the collection. I just had these made this year and I wanted to create a thin synthetic brush that was really, really soft and silky. And what it does is it lays thin layers of product, whether it's skincare, oils, creams, serums, and foundation on the skin. So it allows you to build things really slowly and it gives you a smooth application. It's fabulous. The other favorite things are from B3. B3 is Brush Beauty Balm. It's a line that's created in New York by a friend and fellow makeup artist, Julia Dalton Brush. What I really love about these products is that they are super simple, they're easy to manipulate, they're, there's just no fluff to them. They do exactly what they're supposed to do, and they're very good. The, we have the Rose Squalane and the Squalane oils which are a thicker, less viscous oil than some of the traditional oils. And, and because it's not as viscous or as wet and oily feeling, it's gorgeous under makeup. So even though these are skincare products, I use them as part of my prep for foundation. And then her matte lip balm, which is just incredible because especially when I'm doing grooming on men, they need something on their lips because most men and a lot of people have dry lips, but you don't want them to have shine, right? You don't want a man to have shiny lips. It just doesn't look right. And this is actually a matte lip balm. So big problem solver. I'll show you how I use them here in a sec. Okay guys, here I am with my beautiful model, Julie. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to play with some of my favorite things. I'm going to start by applying some of the squalane oil to her skin with my painter two brush. I think that if you have a really good relationship with your client, if you're really into that luxuriating kind of process with them, you can also really massage this in with your fingers. I'm more of a painter. I'm more of a, let's get it done. And so I like to paint it in and let it sit on the skin for a sec. Turn to me a little bit. You can see it gives the skin this beautiful sheen but it's not greasy looking. And when I'm working on camera and I'm working with real people, this is an amazing way to get a little life in their face so they don't look like they have makeup on and, and it makes them look real. And I mean, look at, look at the beautiful reflection we've got on the skin. Turn your face that way. I mean, just look at that. This is what we want. We want this, but we want to control it. So I like to use this oil because I feel like it gives me that ability. I'm also going to put a little bit of the matte lip balm on. I think she's got a little gloss on, but we're gonna put a little of this matte balm on top here. Let her rub your lips. Okay, so I'm back and I have on my little palette here, um, the three cheek colors that I love so much that are in my favorite things. And you can see we have kind of a deep cranberry and then we have a warm peach and a warm pink. They're all kind of red-violet toned. And I wanna show you how you can play with them. You can put them on top of foundation and you can also put them underneath. So I'm gonna put them underneath. As you can see, we've got this beautiful texture on the skin. We have this great, moist, um, plump, glass-like skin. And so I'm going to start with the color. I try to start, excuse me, <clears throat> I try to start on the cheeks and I usually start at the bottom of the cheeks and I build up. So I'm going to start. Julie's got the most amazing cheeks. She has really wide cheekbones and they're high. The angle of them is very high. So I'm just gonna follow what nature is telling me. I'm going to put the darker color there and then I'm going to come in with this peach and I'm gonna paint the peach right on top of it. And then I'll take a little bit of the warm pink and I'm just going to put it kind of on the outer corner of her apple. And 
Then we'll blend it all together. Okay, so her cheek tells me where the color should go. So the darker color is here. It's going to act as a little bit of a contour, and I'm just going to very lightly pick it up onto her cheekbone. Just press it into the skin. We've got that beautiful oil underneath it. And then I'll do a little black back and forth. Then I'm going to come up into the peach, which is on her cheekbone, kind of on the middle of her cheekbone, the widest part. This is going to act as my color. And then the apple, where we have the pink, I'm just going to swoop that in. And so what happens as I start stirring this together is I get this beautiful, natural, flushed cheek. And the color is really pretty. Look straight to the camera for me. The color is beautiful. It's strong though, right? But that's okay because I don't even have foundation on her yet. So I'm going to take a clean brush and come in with some fard cream and tap it below and around. And I'll do her whole face eventually, but let's play with the cheek. And then I'll tap a little bit over it and blend it together. What happens is this color starts looking real. It starts looking like it's from her and not painted on. Now I can do a little heavier blend with a little back and forth since I have a little makeup on my brush. Look how gorgeous that is. You can decide how much you want to show, how much color payoff you want by how much you blend it. And then you can come back with powders on top after you finish. And it'll give you kind of a second layer, make it look even richer. I'm going to work on the other side of her face now. And I'm going to have her look at me and try to do what I did before. Hopefully I can repeat it. I think one of the reasons I really like these colors is because I can use them on almost every skin tone and you just adapt the amount you use in the blend. For deeper skins, what I'll do is blend them together on my palette and then apply them. All right, so I've got this painted on and now I'm just gonna do blend part one. I always pick the contour up onto the cheekbone so that I know I'm following the natural shape of the face. And then I kind of swirl where the apple is, decide how far I want to bring it to the front of the face, because usually blush kind of peaks around the corner of the face or around the side of the face, or to the front of the face, I should say. And then I decide how much blend I want before I put my foundation on top of it. And if I have too much, I can come back with a cleaner brush and just lift. These colors are so beautiful on so many skins because they are warm red violets and they're just universally beautiful. Warm reds, warm pinks are always so forgiving on the skin because they look natural. They look like blood under the surface of the skin. So you're always going to get a natural and easy to manipulate finish. All right, I've got a little cream laid down here and then I'm going to tap it over the cheek and we'll just start blending it into the makeup. Cheeks are so underrated. They, you know, they don't get a lot of love. Everybody's about the eyes, but a beautiful cheek can shape the face. It can make the face alive. It can create character and style in your makeup. I think this side might be a little brighter than the other side, but we're gonna have her look they're both really pretty. So turn your face towards me. Oh, so gorgeous. Look at this and look at this contour we're getting and we still have the sheen from the oil. That's gorgeous, look that way. Okay, this one is a little softer. So I'm going to bump this side up a little bit. And that's the beauty of using all fard cream. I've only used one product on her face just in different colors. And so it all blends together. I don't have any problems with formulations, you know, rolling around or not being happy together. Okay, now look back. Straight ahead. So pretty. Okay, I think I need just a tad more of my apple color right there. 
I can't have her uneven. <laughs> I think that's looking beautiful. So now you might be noticing that she's shiny, right? She's shiny. And there's a lot of shine down the center of her face and we don't want that there, but we can control it. And so I'm going to do a light dusting of powder and show you the results. I thought I'd show you how a little powder makes such a big difference. I use a very soft silk brush to apply it. And this is just a loose classic beauty powder from Mac Pro that I love, it definitely has a home in my kit. I'm just putting it where I want to control shine. See how it takes the shine off? Look straight to camera for me. See, it takes my shine away and then I can decide where I want a little shine, a little of that luminosity and where I don't. Okay, now turn to me a little bit. Now look at that, look straight to the camera. Great, see, I've controlled this. Oh, let me do a little more on her forehead, right in there. It's so funny on women, there are certain areas that look beautiful if they're shiny and some areas that just look like sweat. We don't want the sweaty ones, so. All right, turn your face back and forth to, for us. Gorgeous, I still have that sheen, it's so beautiful, and I can control it. If I decide I don't want that much sheen on her face, all I have to do is put a little powder over it. Pretty. Okay, so here we are with Julie. We have finished her face. We've got her uh, squalane oil on and then a little bit of fard cream as foundation and my little blush trio. And then we did her eyes as well. And you can see, and I bumped in a little concealer and you can see she's got a beautiful glow. She looks fresh and there's color on her face. And I think sometimes we forget how powerful color can be on the skin. Will you turn your face side to side for us? Beautiful glow. Beautiful, I love the color on her eyes. It almost looks smoky. And look at this cheek. I mean, you could just grab it, right? It's just like this beautiful little cup full of gorgeousness. <laughs> so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.